everyone many students want to achieve good marks in the exam but due to their habit of wasting time they are not able to score what they wish for in today's era there are a number of distractions due to which students waste their precious time According to research it has been proven that the average time a student spends per day on social media is about 2 to 3 hours imagine what will happen if they spend those 2 to 3 hours on studying so if you are one of those students who is prone to wasting time then this video is for you because in this video we are going to give you some proven secret tips that i have used personally in my life which have helped me a lot when i used to waste my precious time These tips have not only helped me achieve good marks in the exam but also made me a successful YouTuber. So do watch this video till the end. Tip number 1, figure out your goals. Many students waste their precious time because they don't have a clear goal and desire for why they are working or studying. So determine what you really want from your day or from your life to get a direction and hardcore focus. After determining write down all the goals you want to accomplish on a paper. Doing this will give you a clear understanding and will make you super productive. Tip number 2, track your time. Most of the students are good at wasting time because they lose track of time while doing activities. So, take a paper and write down all the activities that you do in a day and think of how much time you are wasting while doing a single activity. From my personal experience when I used to watch reels on Instagram I used to lose track of time and after spending half an hour on watching reels it used it seemed like I've watched reels for 5 to 10 minutes only this is just one task imagine how many hours we are wasting during the day so track your time if you want to become successful in life or in your curriculum tip number 3 set your priorities we all have different tasks to do during the day span Some are urgent while some are less urgent. So, to use your time effectively, we will have to set the priorities based on how urgent those tasks are. For that, take a sheet of paper and write down a list of tasks and put them into one of the four categories. Number 1, tasks that are important and urgent which need to be done first. Number 2, things that are important but not urgent should be done next. Third, tasks that are not important but urgent are placed in a separate category and fourth things that are neither important nor urgent keep them in the final category trust us if you set your priorities according to the urgency level this will help you to balance your life and as a student you will be stress free during the exam tip number 4 prepare a schedule and follow it after setting goals tracking your time and prioritizing your tasks make a plan which is flexible while making a plan figure out when you are the most productive while studying in the day or night also think of free time in the evening to relax after that take a sheet of paper and prepare a daily schedule which you will have to follow at any cost without giving any reason to yourself Also, if that schedule is not working, do not be afraid to make changes until you find a schedule that is more suitable for both of your work and non-work tasks. Create a schedule that fits your needs. Tip number 5: Tackle tough tasks first. This time management tip really works if you have a difficult task or project ahead of you. Means many of us get tempted to put off during the hardest tasks, but Trust us if you want to avoid wasting time then this is recommended by many researchers to get the harder tasks out of the ways as soon as possible this tip is very much effective because when you complete a hard task first you feel less burdened and more productive due to which you are able to complete the remaining tasks faster tip number 6 prepare a to do list you must be probably familiar with the to do list So, use it to save your time. Write down all the tasks that you wish to accomplish and make a checkbox next to those tasks. Also, you can prepare a to-do list for a day, for a week, or for a month. Whatever you do, make sure your list is portable so you can make changes on the go. Once done, stick it on your wall or keep it in the bag. Every now and then, check the to-do list to get an idea of what tasks are remaining. Also, after completion of task tick the checkbox because it has been proven that ticking checkbox 
will give you a sense of motivation and will make you super productive. Tip number 7. A lot, time carefully. Spend time on people, places and things that matter most to you. While spending time, keep your goals in mind and ask if what you are doing at the moment is bringing you closer to your goals or taking you further from your goal. If someone asks you to do something that you do not have time for, then it is okay to say no to them because it is your time and you have to spend your time wisely. Also remember, don't let your tasks get piled up because piled up tasks lead to stress and depression. So, allot your time carefully to every task. Tip number 8. Just do it. It is easy to procrastinate and find ways to distract yourself from tasks that you need to get done. Social media, television and internet surfing and talking with others on a cell phone are the most common distractions for students. So, avoid wasting time by just starting a project or tasks that you have been putting off. If you do not feel like doing your scheduled tasks, just count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and start working on that task without giving any thought. This tip is very beneficial because by simply starting a task, you will feel better about the progress you are making. So if you are thinking about putting off a task, then don't. Tip number 9. Use your breaks wisely. If you are prone to wasting time, then be mindful of even spending 10 to 15 minutes of free time because these smaller breaks of time can easily add up to one free hour or more through a single day. So you must be thinking what to do during those 15 minute breaks. Personally, I spend those 15 minutes in returning calls or doing exercises or in throwing a load of laundry in the washing machine or by helping my mother in doing household chores. Trust me, if you do this, you will be surprised by how much you can get done and you will be proud that you have not put any of your time to waste. Bonus tip, never ever browse on social media or reply to any message because it will waste your time and will make you less productive. Tip number 10, make technology work for you. Technology can be an asset if you use it wisely. Use apps and tools to help you track and schedule your time. You can even block websites that are tempting and encourage you to waste your time. Tip number 11. Wake up early. When you get up early, you definitely have more time in the day. Waking up early gives you enough time to read or work on important projects. Plus, when you get up and immediately do something important, it gives you momentum for the rest of the day. Tip number 12. Use Pomodoro Technique. Many students study for hours and hours while studying and due to that, they feel bored and they are not able to get the most out of their study session. If you also do this mistake, then follow Pomodoro Technique. In this technique, you have to study for 45 minutes and after that, you have to take a short break of 15 minutes. Taking a break is not a sign that you are lazy, but it will actually help you to work better and be more productive. In that break, eat something or go for a walk or do some stretches. So these were the 12 tips that will help you to avoid wasting time while studying. Also, feel free to suggest new topics in the comment section below. Thank you.